very good advertisement for just turning up, turning up, turning up. Yeah, I suppose it's a good ad for that. Yeah, kept at it. Had a, some rough moments, but just managed to stay at it and stay in it. And not, uh, we're trying to beat ourselves there, but we just kept um, finding a way to to get back on top of that situation. And, Yeah, look, I was impressed with a lot of things that we did tonight. Um, but just, you know, as I said, it just was marred a little bit by the fact that we got them back in the game a little bit. We were making error after error there at one stage and putting them in good field position. And they were, it didn't capitalise on all of them, but they certainly got some of them. And that got them back in the game and gave them hope. And we were taking the hope away from them for about 20 minutes after half time. Nice. Next week. Wayne, why do you think it's happening this time of year? Why do you think things are coming together? Spring. <laughs> <laughs> Does that apply to you or the whole team? <laughs> All of us. It's the time of year you want to happen. Jaron, you guys have been believing for a couple of weeks now, but does that take to another level, being Melbourne and Melbourne, with all the history of them against you here? Oh, yeah, no, no, sleep. We haven't. Beaten down here for a while, but we'll have time to do it, I suppose. You know, semi final, couldn't be proud enough of the team. Wayne, um, Danny Dara said yesterday that you're a different man in September and you were excited about beating the finals. Do you think that's right? I shouldn't give some, I shouldn't show some of it to myself. I obviously <laughs> then thought I had you all conned. <laughs> Wayne, was it a plan to target the left-hand side of the small defence? No, not really. Garrett, you're the captain, mate. What's the emotion in the team, in yourself in the team at the moment? Um, I just pretty uh, over, overwhelmed, actually. I've never been in this position. You know, playing, playing, going into a playoff game and playing a grand final, it's um, something everyone in the team's worked hard for all year. And, yeah, it's a uh, pretty surreal feel. Confidence must be high in the camp, Jared. Oh, yeah, I suppose. You know, we're, we're playing some good football the right end of the, right end of the year. And um, you know, I think, you know, forwards have been tremendous all year. And you know, it's no secret us backs can't do our stuff unless the forwards are going forward and, and defending and holding their gloves up in the middle. So, um, I can't think of them boys enough. There's an early diamond sometime, Robert's right there. Yeah, I don't think he's too bad. He limped in the change room there, the ice pack on him, but I, you know, obviously carry on. I think that's a little bit of hyper hyperextension, so a week will probably will be right. Yeah, he was. Well, he had a lot of teammates in that category as well, but he was. And, um, you know, as Jared alluded to, the forwards and everybody, I mean, they all, you can't beat Melbourne down here and have the history they've got and playoff history and all that type of stuff without doing a lot of things right. And we did a lot of things right here and probably got a little carried away the fact that the way that we put ourselves under pressure there, but I mean, we got ourselves in the position to win the game and, and we didn't let we didn't let go. We, we were never behind all night. We stayed in front all night. And that's not easy here. That's a huge step for us. When the Roosters haven't given away any easy points over the last few weeks, what sort of a challenge for those? Oh, look, I've got no idea about the Roosters. I haven't watched them play since we played them whenever. So, you know, it's not my priority tonight, the Roosters. They've got a pretty tight footy team in there. Um, you know, they've played a tough game here tonight, and we'll worry about the Roosters later in the week. Well, we hope so. We pulled him out this morning. Um, he's obviously aggravated an <coughs> ankle there, and... You know, it was close to playing today, but at the end of the day, we made a decision not to play him, so hopefully we'll get him back next week. Pleased with the replacements? Yeah, well, we're all confident in Kevin. We just knew how good he is, and we're sorry to be losing him, but he, he deserves to be an NRL player, and he can't be at our club on a regular basis. And So, you know, we didn't lose any sleep over, over the fact that um, he was going to take his position there today. He, he, was, he played tremendous. Would you try and keep a, a lid on the... What do you think? Yeah, 
question. Do you have a question? Thanks. Oh, yeah. I suppose, um, I suppose it is building, but um, it's another step up next week. And um, I'm just going to rise the occasion. This is uncharted water for these guys, so, you know, um, they've got here because they've kept it simple and they've kept a focus on what they've got to do. And if they get ahead of themselves, they'll, they'll blow it all out of the water. So, my job's to make sure that doesn't happen. Is it like that in the last 20 minutes, like the uncharted waters of leading Melbourne and Melbourne? Like yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, and I'm really elated with what they did. I mean, I, I can be critical of certain aspects of that last 20 minutes, but, you know, the, the part I'm most pleased about and proud of them about was the way they just stayed out. They, what was that, about 15 minutes out or something, they were leading 18, 16, and to keep Melbourne scoreless in that next 15, 20-minute period was quite exceptional when they had everything to play for as well as we did. I mean, the losers finished for the season, so stakes were hugely high. And, you know, the last five minutes were tremendous. We controlled it great. And, didn't get them, let them get anywhere down near our trial line. Jared, you've been here plenty of times where you've been in that situation and they've rolled over top of you by a belt in the start. I mean, how big a statement is that against that trending? Oh, I don't know if it's much of a statement. It's just uh, satisfying, I suppose. Um, I've, I've never I've never won down here, so it's, um, it's pretty pleasing to do it in a semi final at their home ground. Look, if you go back the season, I mean, we, they beat us 16 14, we let them, and they kept, caught us. We, Played all over Newcastle right up until half time, and then second half we started pretty good, and then we, we lost them there, and they got on top of us. So we, that's how far we've come. If you want to measure this team's performance, you can measure them on those games alone. That you know we had them beaten both times, we couldn't finish them off this time. We got in front, and we, and we did finish it. So we continue to grow as a footy club and the team. No, I knew they got um, you know key players, good players in key positions and they're always going to keep coming at us. Um, that's why they've been such a good team for, you know, 10 odd years. But um, you know, I, I had faith in our boys that we could hang on. Um, we definitely started well and, you know, you've got, you've got to be in front of Melbourne by half-time. They, they, um, they win a lot of games when they win at half-time, so we had to start well. And the way we started the second half was pleasing too and, um, you know, just a great effort to hold on. Wayne, how much faith did you have in the death? How were you? Oh, well, if I don't believe, there's not much chance them believing, so... No, I just, that's how far we've come, as Jared alluded to, you know, we, I, I wasn't thinking, oh, here they come again, I just, we had, I was so pleased we had a two-point lead and I thought we can hold this, you know, and that's how much more belief these guys have got. We would have given that lead up a couple of months ago, but, you know, we're a lot better, a lot more belief in the team now. You have to, you can't win these games without it, because you will get challenged and it will be close and... Uh, no, I wouldn't think so. No. Tyrone would be a major problem. Hopefully, it's good.